If anger is a universal human problem, and it is, all we have to do is look at the last 24 hours of our life and we can find times where we were frustrated, we, we, were, we were angry, we wanted to turn away from somebody or turn against them in our anger. If, if anger is truly a universal problem, we can anticipate that Scripture speaks to it everywhere. And, and indeed, Scripture does speak to anger everywhere. What does God say to angry people? James chapter 4, if you want to go to one passage of Scripture that, that captures the experience of anger and what God says to the angry person, James 4 verses 1 through 10 would be, would be the passage. Where do fights and quarrels come from? And the Lord says, they come from your desires, that, the battle within. You want something and you don't get what you want. And, and what you want, it's not about the glory of God. It's not because you love someone else so much. It's about your own desires. It's about our own selfishness. And, and we want it for us to somehow make our life easier, to give us more control, more power, more authority, more respect in our lives. And, and then the scripture, it, it does some fascinating things. It says, it says that we, we are haters of God in our anger. That's a, that's a horrible thing to say. It, it's because the angry person doesn't even think about God oftentimes. All they're thinking about is what are they not receiving that they desperately want. But, but essentially what they're saying is, God, you haven't given me what, what I deserve, and how dare you not give me those things. Scripture identifies our anger as, as, as being in friendship with the world rather than God, and being ultimately a hater of God. Anger is against other people, and, and it is against God himself. Now here's the amazing thing. That God, in the midst of James 4, in the very middle of the passage, and by the way, in, in, in an Old Testament way of thinking, it's not the end of a passage that has the punchline, it's the middle of the passage. And at the very middle of James's passage on anger, the Lord says that he is jealous for us. And, and what he's saying is that in your anger, your affection has moved away from me and, and has become attached to your own desires. And the Lord says, I want you all for myself. My, my, je my loving jealousy is aroused for you. And he invites us to come back to himself to trust in Him and to submit to Him and to Him alone. So read James chapter 4. It is, we could spend our entire lives just studying that particular passage. It is the most direct and attractive words, surprising words, to all of us as we struggle with our anger.